Thanks for joining. Before we get started, please click subscribe to my channel and check out a message from our sponsor, The Motley Fool, where you can get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So one of my favorite stocks, or not my favorite stocks, but one of my the, the real estate stocks that I've owned the longest, uh, Health Peak Properties, ticker symbols P-E-A-K, recently reported its earnings. And the numbers themselves were meh. But there was one thing that left us kind of scratching our heads. Uh, Tyler Crow's joining me. I know he's a Health Peak shareholder as well. Um, so, Tyler, why are you making a face about Health Peak this quarter? Yeah, it's it's funny. You, you know, there's there's some parts of it where you look at it and go, "Wow, that actually looks really good, right?" Like uh, in the year they had uh, ca cash releasing spreads which basically means like when I renew a lease on uh, an existing property, cash releasing spreads for its medical office buildings were 64%, which is awesome. Like you see numbers like that and you should get really excited. But Health Peak Properties for me has just been one that has just been weird and it continues to get weirder. And there was one thing in the announcement that got me a little bit nervous and they are doing what they're reorganizing into what's called an upread. Uh, it's basically uh, the layman's term of describing this is basically it's a it's a corporate structure that allows them to buy operators of other businesses that aren't REITs, convert them into bring them into the operating portfolio and then pay them out with shares over time so that you're not having to do these, you know, large upfront payments initially. You know, a lot of like private REITs use this sort of structure to to grow the business. What troubles me with this and, and really kind of is putting up some red flags is that Health Peak has just been reorganizing a lot and reshuffling assets. And this was a company that, you know, had to get rid of assets previously. Uh, it was a, a senior housing operating business. They had to get rid of it because it was low margins, not doing well, and, and management didn't do a good job of making acquisitions. And now we're going to reorganize into a structure that allows them to to grow more to to make more acquisitions i feel like that's you know kind of giving the keys to the ferrari to the 16 year old <laughs> yeah it, it kind of does feel that way and i i get what you're saying like i've been a share i've been a shareholder since i want to say 2014 or so and one move that they made they used to be called hcp healthcare properties is what it stood for before they went adopted the name health peak and they had this big crisis about i want to say around 2016 with their senior, uh, with their skilled nursing portfolio that they ended up spinning off. Um, and they said, okay, now we're just going to focus on our two core property types. Then they're going to go back into senior housing. And now that they're going to an upreet, they're going to step on the gas even more. And it's just, management's made some questionable calls in my mind. Not only that, I bought it because at the time I bought it, they were, they had been growing the dividend for over 20 years in a row. And then they ended up cutting it when they spun off the senior, the skilled nursing properties because they weren't making as much money. Fine, that made sense. They haven't raised their dividend since. It's just they've been kind of a dividend since. Right, they've cut, cut their, their dividend since. It's been a disappointment from an income perspective. So my question to you, I I don't know what what would you if, if you sell Health Peak, which it sounds to me like there's a pretty good chance you will. What would you roll it into? Is there another healthcare REIT that's on your mind? Do you like any of the big ones like Welltower or Ventus? Or do you like a uh, physician's realty trust is a favorite of mine? Um, I, to be honest, I've actually recently sold physician's realty trust. Um, and I have not spent enough time with Welltower and Ventus to make a, a good decision on it. But I, I have been finding in the med, specifically in the medical uh, REIT space, there's just been questionable management or questionable things. Uh, medical properties trust, same thing. Like their counterparty credit default rate is huge right now, or default risk is huge right now. And so, like, I, there's just enough messy things going on in medical REITs that I'm not super excited for anything in that particular space. I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you. I, I mentioned uh, when Health Peak spun out its skilled nursing portfolio, Well Tower ended up acquiring that after the spinoff. It's like Health Peak spun off its junk, and Wealth Tower said, "I'll scoop that up." You know, that seems like a questionable call to me because those were financially struggling properties that, you know, still aren't doing that well. So, I, I like I kind of agree with you that I'm not thrilled with the management team of any healthcare REIT right now. Um, 
physicians seems like they're being a more more cautious approach to growth, um, which is kind of the opposite of what Health Peak seems to be doing right now, um, which is kind of a saving grace to me. But they're another one that's kind of been disappointing over the past few years. They haven't really been able to grow like they thought they would, um, especially since they have arguably the most resilient type of properties, medical office buildings. Um, and they, they should have made it through COVID and been able to scoop up properties and grow. And back when money was free in the middle of you know the pandemic days. Uh, so it, it's really kind of been a disappointment that that no healthcare REIT seems to have got it right to the extent that REIT operators in pretty much every subsector have. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.